yeah, hooking up everything. The unit, uh, the liquid light guide just slips in the adapter in the front. Um, we've got the light engine running now. The RS-232 cables connected between it and the RCA, which we're going to use to control the light engine. And power supply is hooked up. So the last thing we do um, after turning on the light engine is to turn power on the RCA. And the light engine is turned on just by plugging it in? Just by plugging it in. Very yep. good. Okay. Yes, no switch on that. Okay. Okay, so now RCA's up. Um, what I've done is I've taken our, um, our standard RCA, which is used to control all the channels individually in the product, and added two special... Uh, uh, key or functions basically so that you can turn everything on or everything off to demonstrate the solar product yes okay. just for the solar project so by holding down the up and down arrow keys together <coughs> that turns on all of the channels in the product okay and by depressing right and left simultaneously then it turns everything off okay. um, now, for the uh, demo, what I've done are just the channels that exist in the product, which are the, uh, the violet, cyan, green, and red. I've already set the intensity levels up to maximum, 100%. And, um, uh, and certainly, if you want to uh, adjust any of those, <clears throat> you can uh, basically navigate through the, uh, through the list by using the right and left arrow keys to navigate. And then when the cursor, whatever uh, channel the cursor is pointing at and blinking, that's the one that you're editing. Mm -hmm. So so you can either, um, let's see, like in this case, we stopped on cyan. By hitting the on-off button on the RCA, we can turn that channel on or off by hitting the button again. Mm -hmm. And um, and then you can also adjust the, uh, the intensity level by using the up-down arrow keys, mm -hmm. like so. Does mode have any function? In, as a uh, not for this demo. Okay. Um, but in the uh, for the standard RCA product, what you can do is go to the next screen, uh, which allows you to edit each of the uh, each of the channel names. We'll just leave mode alone. We'll just leave mode alone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Yeah, I think it should be. Um, you know, a couple things when you're when you're showing this too is that uh, I mean, first of all, I'll explain that this is not you know obviously a real solar uh, product, mm -hmm. and we only have four channels in this box compared to we'll have six combined for white light and this. Yeah. So then, you think is the it linear? Channel. Would the intensity be fifty percent brighter or? Um, no, because, well, it's going to be brighter because there's still overlap in the bands, mm -hmm. but the ones that are going to be added, uh, well, actually, they fill in some gaps in the, in the middle, so there will be some addition. There will be a little more power, but I, I wouldn't say it'd be as much as 50% more. Very good. Okay. And the box will be a little larger to accommodate the additional two uh, sources. There. Right. Those right. Are, okay. And... But again, that one will come with the uh, three millimeter light guide standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, as far as turning on and off the source, what we will be supplying is a small adapter cable mm -hmm. on here, so that you can either connect a, uh, a hand switch or a foot switch, mm -hmm. or uh, trigger off a camera mm -hmm. to uh, control the uh, the on/off of the light. Or software. Um, well, I think in the, the PDF that Ben sent, it noted that it could be controlled via software, most or all the microscopy imaging packages. Yeah, I think we're still trying to uh, hash that one detail okay. out. Okay. It might, it, it likely will not be in Sola 1. Okay. But it'll be in Sola 2. 